Hi, Dr. Steve here. In this video, I'm going to complete Section 7 of Test 1 from the College Board Blue Book. If you have not already seen my introductory video where I complete Section 3, I would suggest you watch that first. Have your Blue Book open so you can follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or post them up on my Facebook wall, facebook.com forward slash the SAT Math Prep. All right, one. The pictogram above shows the number of new homes built in Cityville for each of four different time periods from 1961 through 2000. How many new homes were built from 61 through 90? So that's the uh, first three rows. That's two and four is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And each house represents 2,000. So 14 times 2,000 is 28,000. That's choice E. Okay, number two. What is the value of W in the figure above? Uh, those angles are vertical, so 35 plus 45, and take 180 minus the answer to get 100, which is choice B. Okay, number three. A restaurant has 19 tables that can seat a total of 84 people. 19 tables, 84 people. Uh, some of the tables seat four people and the others seat five people. How many tables seat five people? Okay, so there's four and five. So let me start with choice C. Um, so suppose that six seat five people. That takes care of 30. Um, so there are 19 minus six, which is 13 left to seat four people. 13 times four, that's 52. And we add them up and we get 82. Uh, that's a little too small. We're supposed to have 84. Four. So we either go to D or E. Um, I'm going to jump to E. Let's see what happens. Uh, so 8 times 5 is 40, and that leaves 11 times 4, which is 44, and that adds up to 84. That is correct. So the answer is E. Okay. Number 4. Uh, if a equals 4, which of the following is equivalent to a m squared? So that's 4m squared plus a m plus a. Um, let's factor out the 4. Okay, and oh, that's actually one of the answer choices. So it's d. Uh, number 5. In the figure above the circle with center O is inscribed in the square a, b, c, d, what is the area of the shaded portion of the circle? Um, the, the side of the square is 2, so the radius of the circle is 1, so the area of the whole circle is pi, and that's a quarter of it, so it's pi over 4, which is choice a. Okay, number 6. In the xy plane above, the equation of line L is x plus 3y equals 12. Uh, which of the following is an equation of a line perpendicular to line L? So 3y is negative x plus 12, y is negative 1 third x plus 4. It's negative a third. That's the slope. Perpendicular should have a slope of 3. Um, so choice C has its slope of 3. Number 7. Two sides of a triangle each have length 5. All of the following could be the length of the third side, except we'll use the triangle rule. So the difference is 0, the sum is 10, so it can't be 10, choice E. Okay, number 8. In an election, 2.8 million votes were cast. That's 2,800,000 votes were cast. Uh, and each vote was for either candidate one or candidate two. Candidate one received 28,000 more than candidate two. So X and X plus 28,000. What percent of the 2.8 million votes were cast for candidate one? So we have two X plus 28,000 is 2,800,000. Let's do that in the calculator. 2,800,000 minus 2,800,000. Enter, divide by two. And that's X, which would be candidate two. We want to know how, what percent were cast for candidate one. So for candidate one, we have to add 28,000 to that. Okay, and then we need to divide by 2.8 million. So divide it by 2,800,000. And we get 0.505, which as a percent is 50.5% choice C. Okay, number nine. Root 2p equals eight, root 18. What is the value of p? That would be 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, number 10. When 1783 is rounded to the nearest whole number. Oh, it's 1.783 is rounded to the nearest whole number. The result is how much greater than 1.783 is rounded to the nearest tenth. The nearest tenth is 1.8, so it's 0.2 greater. 
Okay, number 11. Samantha's packing for a trip. Of the towels in the closet, six are brown. Okay, she will randomly pick one of the towels to pack. If the probability is two-fifths that the towel she will pick is brown. So two-fifths of the total is six. So six times five divided by two, that's 15 is total. How many towels are in the closet? 15. Okay, number 12. Five different points A, B, C, D, and E lie in a line in that order. C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. The length of A, D is 4.5. Uh, the length of B, E is 3.5. Uh, and the length of C, D is 2. What is one possible length for B, C? Um, okay, let's try 1, 2, 3. That would make this 1.5. And... 2, 3, that would make this 0.5. It looks like 1's okay. I'm going to go with 1. Okay, number 13. In the 30-day month of April, for every three days it rained, there were two days it did not rain. So for every three days of rain, two days of not rain. Um, so 3x, 2x for 5x total. The number of days in April in which it rained was how much greater than the number of days in which it did not rain. So um, 5x is equal to... 30, x is uh, 6, so 3x is 18, 2x is 12, and the difference is 6. Okay, number 14. Each term of a certain sequence is greater than the term before it. The difference between any two consecutive terms of sequence is always the same number. So that means it's an arithmetic sequence. If the third and sixth terms are 17 and 77, respectively, what is the eighth term? So the common difference is just the slope of the line passing through these two points. 77 minus 17 divided by 3. The slope is 20. That's the common difference. Um, we want the eighth term. So the sixth term is 77, so we do 77 plus 40, and that's 117. Okay, number 15. What is the least value of x that satisfies the equation above? That's an absolute value equation, so that leads to two equations, one-half and negative a half. One-half plus three, this one gives 3.5, and negative a half plus 3. This one gives 2.5. Uh, we want the least value of x. That would be 2.5. Number 16. A four-digit integer w, x, y, z in which w, x, y, and z each represent a different digit is formed according to the following rules. Um, okay, looking at the rules, I see it, since z is w minus 5, w has to be at least 5. So let's try w equals 5 and then it follows that z is 0. Um, okay, that, this may or may not work. Let's see, 5 equals y plus 1. So 5 is y plus 1, so y has to be 4. And then x is w plus y plus z, so that's 5 and 4 and 0, that's 9. So that would make the number 5, 9, 4, 0. Uh, what is the four-digit integer? It looks like that works, okay. Number 17. The flag shown above is made of overlapping equilateral triangles, ADF and BCE. So let's see. Uh, it's not drawn to scale, so let's try to draw it to scale a little bit better. Because ribbon is to be sewn around the entire outer edge, it's necessary to know the perimeter of the flag. C, D, D, E, and E, F each have length 10. That's 10, so that's the triangle has side length 20. So that's 20, that's 20, that's 10, that's 10, that's 10, that's 10. All right, uh, what is the length in inches of the perimeter shown in bold? So that's just this part. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So it's 90. Okay, number 18. The graph above shows the function g, where g of x equals kx plus 3x minus 3 for some constant k. If g of a minus 1.2 is 0 and a is positive, what is the value of a? So a minus 1.2 is either 3 or negative 3. Let's try 3 first. That would make this 4.2, and that works, and we're done.